It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. While MTV was promoting the most friendly faces in the current indigenous pop music scene in Turtle Island with their Rebel Music special, they somehow missed Savage Fam, the baddest, raddest, hardest native hip hop group out there. Full fucking stop. Yep, Savage Fam offers some of the realest rhymes in hip hop since the gangster rap scene of South Central LA in the early 90s. Their solidly produced tracks tell tales of the hardships of colonization and of life on the res. But Savage Fam doesn't take the white man's oppression sitting down. Their joints are laden with stories of resistance and revenge, which would explain why MTV would shy away from showcasing a group that would spook away their white audience. So we are proud to offer y'all a triple cheeseburger worldwide exclusive interview with Antloke, one of the many MCs in Savage Fam. My name don't matter in this situation. Uh, we represent Savage Fam, uh, standing against violent adversaries and genocidal environments, forever always movement, the voice of the voiceless, the people that nobody speaks for, the people that, that, that aren't allowed to speak for themselves. I'm, I'm from the lower L1 that's clan people in illegally occupied Washington state, uh, northwest portion of the United Snakes of America. To most peeps out there, Savage Fam is a hip hop group, but to others, it's much more than that. Can you explain? Some people consider us you know, music or hip hop artists or rap artists or whatever the fuck that is, but I feel like Savage Fam was uh, a coming together of a lot of people that were, were tired of having to face the sicknesses, the death, the destruction that was going on in our communities. And I think that some of us grabbed onto the portion of like music, hip hop, because it was something that was listened to in our communities. But realistically, the way we always addressed it, I know when we were sitting behind closed doors or whenever we were conversating with ourselves, is the fact that Savage Fam is, is a voice, it's an idea, it's a concept, it's a way of being that existed even before you know we gave it a name. Like the way it's broken down, standing against violent adversaries and genocidal environments, what that suggests is that uh, not only not only do we function with with addressing the issues in terms of uh, through music, we also we also confront the system. We have confronted the system. We have been arrested, got down, doing doing what was necessary to hold it down for our people. We have crossed the country, helping out our people in every way possible. Not just through music, but music was the way they got to know us, Savage Fam. When I first saw y'all perform, y'all had more rappers on stage than the Wu Tang Clan. How many peeps are in Savage Fam? Many people like grabbed onto this shit and we never wanted to uh, turn anyone away in terms of like being a part of this shit in terms of being like, well, I got nobody else. I have, I have fucking nothing remaining of my identity. I have nothing remaining of any of this shit because this shit has been stripped from me by, by every possible means there is. And you're the only fucking thing we have is is this this shit i seen in this video where y'all were getting arrested at fucking columbus day in denver i seen this shit that you know y'all y'all came over to the spot and dropped some clothes off y'all came up to the spot when the when when the girl killed herself just to come show support people were like fuck that we want to be a part of this shit you know what i'm saying yeah man fucking this is this is all we have man like you make us you make us feel strong you make us feel this or you make us actually only fucking feel like somebody gives a fuck about us. Like that's simple. Like when you, you actually fucking care about some shit that we're going through, we can tell you really been through it. So the Savage fan spans all the fuck over. You might find a motherfucker in Nova Scotia. You might find some motherfucker in South America. A lot of the lyrics y'all drop are about the motherfucking police. Why do y'all hate them so much? And what is their role in the colonial process? Pigs and military, they hold in place an illegal occupying force. So like the, the system of the United Snakes, the systems, of, of anything else that exists here is held in place by um, the policing system and by the military system, which are, in, in a sense, if you look at it, are, are very much one and the same because underneath uh, the US view of the world, might makes right. So the more power that you exert, the more power that you show in terms of policing the streets with guns, the feds, the pigs, what they do is they, they, they continuously hold down they, they make sure that this occupancy is continuing and ongoing. And I think that's like from an indigenous perspective, when you look at it just from a human perspective and any other perspective, you can see every single day people being killed by the police. You can see people being raped by the police. You can see how corrupt the system is, how misplaced and uh, the idea of justice is because what, what, what they have created is, is uh, bullies with badges, bullies with guns, people that kind of can get away pretty much with anything. Are there any groups or movements out there that you have affinity with? Any other movement outside of an anarchist movement 
has always been about how do we find our place for justice within the system? How do we find our place to be able to exist within a system but equal? How do we be able to find our place within the system but have our piece of the pie as well? And under that, there's no addressing of the fact that people are, everyone is illegally occupying indigenous homelands. And I think that that, that is a fundamental flaw in every single movement that needs to be addressed first and foremost before I even listen to anybody about anything. That's me personally because I think that it's very dangerous to assume as anybody, and I don't care about what POC organization you come from, whatever it is, if you're not addressing first and foremost that you occupy indigenous homelands illegally, regardless of the circumstance that got you there, if you do not address that fact first and foremost, then you disrespect and you disregard the ongoing occupation and the injustice that continues because of that ongoing occupation, that colonization process. Colonization is simply the process of exchange, like coming through forcefully and pushing a new worldview and a new way of functioning on a group of people or a group of peoples. And so if you're willing to accept that just as long as you can have your piece of equality within that, then it's problematic for the indigenous population. Do you think people in this continent are paying more attention to indigenous issues? Yes, but it's only in the in the in the context of like it fits now with environmental issues where we're seeing drastic environmental changes and because of that <coughs> we're afraid of what might happen so the indigenous population has always been the people to go to to be like oh what the fuck should we do because our fucking world is changing and it's turning all bad because they know how to take care of the land and shit and so everyone's like oh let's figure out a way to see what these natives are doing and like but even then it's underground it's not and, and it's very very much underground so like right now we're talking about a fucking coal train that's going to be going through Lummi and nobody fucking knows that even exists because people are so busy dealing with like one or two major projects that are fucking set up by the media to be important but there's a thousand different projects going on there's thousands of different things that are going on there's fucking farms on rivers there's fucking ongoing deforestation and logging until it affects them in their backyard and then it's like well let's bring the natives and let's have a picture of the natives and what they're doing and let's support them again. This is allyship at its finest because this is when people like bring natives to the forefront and have them be the voice and they actually become the ones who are chased after and incarcerated, murdered, all those different things behind closed doors and everybody else gets their little accolades and shit. People want to do the shit that gets them in front of cameras, gets them on pictures and shit like that. And I know we're sitting in front of cameras right now, but what I'm saying is that people want to do the pretty shit. People want to do the fucking... All, all the little shit that's the, the the major world shit so they can get a little fucking little fame and fortune behind what they're trying to do but no one really knows not no one people don't know about the fact that every fucking day there's kids killing themselves people don't know the fact that fucking there's kids overdosing themselves every fucking day which doesn't mean shit to society at large but when you have a population of 500 fucking people some places 30 people some places 100 people when you have a population like that and you see people 10 people die a fucking year that's fucking significant, but nobody fucking pays attention to that shit. Ain't nobody coming to fucking any kind of camp to say, stop the child molesters from coming in our community. But if we have some big shit that affects them, they'll come fuck with us, but they won't come fuck with us if we're talking about, let's try and protect our children. Let's try to protect our women. Let's try and protect, it's, it's not, it won't go down like that. Because personally, I, I, I don't believe anyone really gives a fuck unless they got some kind of stake in it. But we always got a stake in it. Thanks, Ant. And that about this for this edition of It's the End of the World as We Know It, and I feel fine. If you want to hear an extended interview with Antlok, find out the tracks I played, subscribe to my email list, get my podcast, or just clue me into some new hot shit political hip-hop, just visit my fucking website, stimulator.tv. Yeah.